Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video we're just going to look at how you can use IK um, and linking it up to a character. So I've applied an absolution animation layer on there. Um, I'm selecting the hand of the character. I just want to show you how you can potentially use the digit aspect to uh, create shapes or uh, rotations on the actual fingers. So as you can see, I've got the digit selected and I'm just using these kind of uh, slider bars to actually reposition fingers. There is also an option of using um, predefined uh, poses, preset poses. Um, maybe some of those might be of use for you. Um, but what I'm going to do is just select these three finger digits and use the curl um, feature to actually unwrap the hand a little bit. And then I'm going to look at putting this pole into his hand. At the moment though, the pivot point is from the very bottom of the actual pipe and I need it to be a little bit further up. So what I'm going to go and do is to this hierarchy button, effect pivot only, and just use the move tool to actually bring it up slightly so that it's not rotating around that point. It's now a little bit further up. Okay, so um, as we can see, if I just quickly rotate that, it's now going around the point that I wanted it to. Uh, I'm just going to move this into the hand so that it kind of makes life a little bit easier for following it around. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's that's kind of in the right sort of position um, if this was going to be like a sword or, or something he was going to swing at somebody or whatever. Um, to get this working, I need to select the palm, uh, go to the motion tab, and under limb animation, if I expand that out, create an IK target. And you just click on that, and what it does is it'll create this kind of cross um, tick thing in 3D space. And what that allows you to do is actually control the movement of the hand. So we need to move that to the palm of the hand. And this is, you know, useful for if it's made somewhere else and it just pops up or you need to realign it. You can move target to palm of hand like so. Okay, so um, that can be quite a useful little tool. Um, in order to get this thing working properly, um, what we need to do is link it to the object that we're wanting it to follow around. So this would be the pipe in this instance. Um, now what I'm going to do is make the hand follow the IK target. So if I go to limb animation again and change the IK FK to zero so that it follows that um, cross element explicitly, as you can see, it's allowing me to actually move the arm just through using that pipe. So if I was to auto key this, we could do some sort of uh, stabby motion let's move it again and yeah on on maybe this frame I want the thing to let go so it just stays where it is so what I need to do is actually select the uh, hand again uh, and if I was to go from 0 to 100 it would let go but it would be going from 0 to frame 20 so what I need to do is actually make sure that it's set at 0 following the pipe at frame 19 and at frame 0 and then on frame 20 I could change it so that it let go and to do that I just slide it up to 1 but as you can see that's kind of gone instantly from frame 20 to fully letting go and there's a different position so all I need to do is grab the key move it slightly and as you can see from that he lets go and there's a bit of a transition time between his hand going back to where it used to be. So that's how you could potentially use IK targets um, to give your life uh, to give your animations a little bit more life. Okay. Um, thanks for watching.